Hello, my name is Don Scheneker. I am the product manager for the PCIe and NVMe protocol analyzer and exerciser from Keysight Technologies. As you develop PCIe and NVMe devices, you need the tools to capture the data and analyze the, its operation. What we have here is a NVMe drive connected into our interposer that brings the signal over to our protocol analyzer where we can capture the data, view the operations, and really test the, all the performance parameters of that device. To exercise the device, we have the Keysight Analog Exerciser that inserts the traffic, measures the responses, and makes sure that all the NVMe operations are correct. What we're seeing here is a packet trace of the PCIe operations of the device that we're testing. In the top area, we see the memory reads and writes, the acknowledgement times, the completion with data, the individual packets that are performing the operations. In the lower part of the screen, we see a performance graph that shows us where the traffic occurs, any kind of errors that, that happen, and we can see exactly over the period of time what information is being sent across the link. So we're having the performance information, individual packets. In addition, there's additional screens that we, we can look at LTSSM information of what is occurring across the link as it gets into a steady state of providing data. But more importantly, we can look at transaction data, the NVMe operations. And in the lower part here, what we're seeing is NVMe operations of reads and writes at the NVMe level that contain multiple packets and the, the data is being transported across the link. To the right is basic performance information. What queues are active? How much data was, was being sent in each queue? And you can measure the response time and look at the overall operations by looking at a visualization of the transaction that shows you from the doorbell through the data transfer to the closing and, and the uh, completion doorbell that completes the operation of this in NVMe read. It provides you all the timing information, everything that you need along with the data to understand how your device is operating. Now I'd like to show you a little bit of the exerciser operations. If I select that performance, that becomes an active component in the link, where we are actually bringing up the link and making the operations for PCIe. There's the general uh, PCIe operations that, that shows me what kind of link I'm operating with, what speed I'm doing, and I can generate traffic across this link to uh, uh, exercise operations. I can exercise the PCIe performance of getting a stable state PCIe. But really what I want to focus on is down at the lower area is we have a whole NVMe package. The NVMe allows me to create queues, uh, to uh, uh, delete queues, to send PRP data across the link. You can create 64 uh, completion and uh, submission queues that you're all operating simultaneously. What's included in addition with this package is the conformance test solution. The conformance test solution is a series of tests defined by the University of New Hampshire that is implemented on this device to automatically test the NVMe operations and give you pass-fail results. As you see on this sc screen, several of the tests passed and a couple failed. The yellow indicating that, that there's something we need to look into more detail on, but it's not really a complete failure. So it really helps in analyzing and testing your device. By using the PCIe analyzer to capture the data and analyze its operations, both performance and individual packet-wise, capturing errors as well, and then also the exerciser that allows you to actually force the operations of the device and go into situations that don't normally occur in a real system and make sure that the recovery routines are correct, you're able to test and really validate the operation of your PCIe devices. Thank you for taking this time to learn a little about Keysight's PCIe 
protocol analyzer and NVMe exerciser and what we can do for you. Again, my name is Don Scheneker, and I thank you for your time.